We have a tendency to understand the part and not the whole. Two blanks in your notes. We have a tendency to understand the part and not the whole. And this is where we take a verse out of its context. We just focus on that particular verse. The friends, we need to realize that it's the whole that gives the part the meaning. That means you need to understand the whole first before you can understand the part. Now, the way to explain this, let me, let me draw something here. Now, if you've attended the Paul's project already before, please don't answer the question because you already know the answer, all right? So here's my drawing. Let's say I'm drawing this, and then we're going to identify a part, all right? So that's my drawing right there. And then let's identify a part. What is that part? Ears, all right? You look at that as, as ears because you look at the whole as a what? You assume that the whole is a rabbit. Now, friends, I'm the one who drew this, and I can tell you right now, I did not draw a rabbit. If I did not draw a rabbit, that means those are not ears. Because what I drew, actually, is a duck looking up. So if that's a duck looking up, what is the part? The part becomes the beak. So friends, here's a very important principle. When we're reading our Bibles, remember this, when we're reading our Bibles, it's not important what you see. Alright? Because you may be looking at a rabbit, what is important is what was the intention of the author. What was it that he actually drew? Not what you see, but what the author actually drew or what he intended to write. So that's principle number four, and that's very important. 